Okay. Well, again, I'm, I welcome everybody here. I'm Tanya from Stutzman's. I'm the, I call myself, oh, hey. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we're, we're fancy here at Stutzman's. I didn't see the red clip. <laughs> I call myself the fluffer. So I fluff everything and make it pretty. <laughs> um, yeah. See, they're trying to take me two places. How's that? Perfect. Can you hear me? Well, again, I'm Tanya. I welcome everybody here. He was talking about the, the different events that we have, and we'll kind of go through, through, through that throughout the day or the morning. We have our little fashion girls again. If you were here la two weeks ago, some of you were here. We have some, and my little commercials are going to be their fashion, so I'm kind of excited about that. That way you don't have to see me dismantle and rush around, and you can see something in between the commercials. I'm going to start with the mantle today. Everybody asks me um, something fresh, something new every year, and I, and I don't know where I come up with it. I just come up with some things that we have in the in the gift shop, and and we go and buy Christmas and fall in January. So right now I'm buying Easter, so I'm already buying Easter eggs and Easter bunnies, and so really I have no season in my life. So, but now I'm enjoying this season. This is my favorite season. Um, fall is it's a really pretty color. Um, the oranges and the yellows and the golds and the bronzes and that's just really fun. The mums here are beautiful. So I'll just show you some things that I have done and purchased and have trying to have, make the gift shop real pretty. My number one love in life is farming. So I'm the three F's here and fun farming and then I throw in a little bit of floristry. So I'm a, I'm a, but my favorite, well, my love is farming and that's what we're going to do here with the, with the mantle. So today what I did was, this was, this is really not a pretty mantle and, and it's, but we're going to make it pretty when we're done. And I'm just going to show you a couple little touches that you can do to make yours uh, different from the neighbor lady or your PTO group or your church ladies that you have over and just give you some ideas that you can do. I'm going to put down this um, runner here and I'm going to do, since I'm doing the farming theme, and there's a couple of things that I'm going to incorporate into my own home that I'm going to show you that I've done. I'm going to start with a garland and I'm just going to lay it at the back and since I went with that sunflower theme and we have fall, most of these garlands are six foot, nine foot, if you're going to change it out to Christmas, your garlands are usually nine foot. This, the fall ones are six foot. And then what I'm going to show you, everybody thinks that they need to go to a florist or, a, or somebody that's professional. I'm going to show you how you can just put some sunflowers in a vase, in a vase. I'm going to take some little birch branch, which this is not real birch branch, this is artificial. And I'm going to lay it in there. Because most of the time anymore, your mantles are real high and tall. A lot of the big thing right now is putting your TVs above your mantles. And that's mine in my basement, so I don't get to do something fun like this. But I'm going to do it fun here. And when you do something fresh or you do something artificial, you never want to leave it just like you pulled out of the package. You want to move your heads of your flowers a little bit towards you. Move your leaves around. Don't take it just straight from your florist or your gift shop or where you're buying your silks. You want to bend it and, and move it a little bit like it has life. And you want some height in there. This is probably a little tall for me to be doing here. I'm, this one's a little bit shorter so I'm going to give it some short so when you're looking at it your eye will come down. And when you're making something in fresh or artificial, traditionally you crisscross so that you have your base of your of your stem so that it will stay in there. So I've gone this way, this way, and now I'm going straight down. And that's the trick of it. This is a one-sided piece, so I'm going to put all the sunflowers towards you. I'm going to bend the heads kind of towards you guys because that's where the focal points are. This one's a little bit shorter. I'm going to put it over here so your eye will come down. And see, I made a base in there when I crisscrossed those first three or four. So I have that crisscross and that base, and then they just start falling into place when you do that. That's not real fancy. It's something you can do at home. It's real pretty. So your eye, you want to do um, so that your eye will follow. You want to do some height on both sides. And then you want to have a couple of pumpkins, of course. I'm really into copper and gold and the, the colors of the season there. 
gonna put a couple birds. Is the lady here that asked me what a chickadee is? Is she here in the, has she already left? The lady that asked. I found a chickadee in the gift shop. I wasn't real sure 100% what a chickadee was, but I found another customer, and I know that lady's here, and she told me what a chickadee was, so. <laughs> oh, where's Ben? Ben, your employee just broke your, <laughs> see, that's the nice thing, when it breaks, I get to take it home, no, oh. <laughs> see, I'll glue it, it'll go in my farm line, oh, we can make it work, we're fine. They know what I was going to do. Okay, just imagine that farming picture right there. This garland has a matching wreath, has matching picks, matching sweat. <laughs> I hope you're getting all this taped. <laughs> I think I should have planned a little better. There's a hook on the back of this that you're supposed to hook on the nail. Right there it is. And usually, we're not using a fire yet, so a lot of people use things to put in their mantle. And I have these really cool lanterns that you can put inside or outside. And you can put pumpkins in them. You can um, go ahead and use them for your Christmas season. Over here on this one over here, I have put pumpkins in it, so it's really cool. But kind of put them in your, in your fireplace. Aren't those pretty? Okay, this is my tip and trick that you're gonna, I'm gonna show you here, I have a little glove. And I have pump, a pumpkin, this is a mini pumpkin. These are 99 cents. Um, today for kids, we're letting them paint them for free. So there's a whole little kids station over there. Yes, Shay's already been over there and she's got a couple painted. So I've taken some copper, really? I've got a hook right there, thank you. So I'm going to paint my pumpkins. You can do copper, you can do gold. It takes a little bit to, because it wants to run a little bit. So it takes a couple coats. It's all right. But make sure you cover your hands with your paint. So, and don't get it on this pretty picture here. So what I've done is look how fast that dried. I'm gonna put up <laughs> my harner. And I sprayed them that, that copper. You can do gold. You can do, my last name, of course, is Harner. And there's some Harners in the audience that might get these gold or copper pumpkins. If I can spell it right. There we go. You could put boo on here. You can put fall. You can put harvest. You can put anything. And then to give it a little bit of a touch so you see my family in my John Deere tractor. <laughs> right here is my Harner and my little picture that they fixed me up. I would paint this pumpkin and show you a little bit more, but that is the coolest thing. You can do white, if you want to paint them white. You can, then you can put your boo on there. You can put, over here we have the white pumpkin. This is one of our funky gourds, funky pumpkins, and it comes in white. And so then Erica that works here, she just painted trick or treat on it, got some stickers on there. You can do so much with pumpkins and you don't have a lot invested, but it's, it's just really neat and kind of cool that you've have something different on your mantle than somebody else. But anyway, I have Harner. I don't have the prettiest handwriting, but if you got some calligraphy going or you got stickers, um, I didn't have a lot of time to run to town and get stickers, but it's kind of, it's just kind of personal and gives you a little bit of a look that you don't, that your neighbors aren't gonna have, so. Oh, yay! Do I still gonna take it home? <laughs> it's my gift, thank you. So anyway, my farmer, my farm, I love my farmer stuff. And, and we have a lot of farmer, farmers in the community. We're gonna try it again. There it is. When farmer things really hit, really made it big was remember the Super Bowl and it was the, the farmer, um, Paul Harvey talking about the farmer. That's when this really took off. But well anyway, that's my first grouping. We'll let the gals show you a little something and does anybody have any questions? What do you have question for? Come on, Shay, ask me. You think it is? Well, it won't today. Okay, but we'll let Shelby take over. Oh, you have a question, okay. You know, you said when you decorate with uh, fireplaces that usually aren't lit, I have ours lit a lot, so how do you decorate? On the side of the... You can't do much. Is yours a live flame? Oh, yeah, real. Yeah, that's the trick of it. I, 
Yeah, not, not, no, but you probably have a seam. Do you have it bricks and real pretty? And then do you do a vase or some flowers or? Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. But I, you know, the garland, I don't know if you could lay garland around there. So many of them are now that electric flame. That's what, you can't do it. So just the top is real pretty. Yeah. Well, at least you have a fireplace. <laughs> okay, this is Shelby. I guess I'll, last time I did not introduce her. This is my oldest daughter. I have an older son and my middle daughter and then we have a younger one. But she is kind of helping us with the clothing and um, putting it together. It's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. And I hope you gals enjoy it. There's something for all sizes, all ages, and that's what she's kind of trying to show is what you can do with a 16-year-old all the way to 40. I hear back there. <laughs> I, thought, I was going to say almost 50, but no, I better not say that. Her birthday's in a couple days. She's not going to be 50, but, but anyway, there's all, my grandma was here yesterday, and she is 95. She bought a jacket, a really pretty jacket. My mom is 70, 75. She bought a jacket. So there's all ages, all styles, so I want, we want you guys to go in there, check that out, but I'll turn it over to Shelby, and then you guys, I'll get back with you. I'm just going to hold it. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I have some cute little models that are all going to be modeling the same sweater for this first set. Um, come on out. We'll go youngest to oldest here. We have my little sister, Haley. Yeah, And then Taryn Aller. She's a college, a freshman in college. And then we have Miss Joni, who's the old lady in this group. <laughs> so we're all wearing the same sweater, all four of us. We have five different colors of this sweater, um, two or three different styles of it also. So if you girls want to turn around, please. These are what you call a flyaway sweater because it breaks open in the back and you can fly away. Joni's has buttons on the back. Um, Taryn, I guess, isn't wearing a flyaway because the one that she was going to wear sold, which is great. <laughs> and then Haley is wearing a flyaway, which is the same as mine without the buttons. Okay, girls, turn back around. Um, these are great sweaters. They're pretty, they're enough of a weight that it keeps you warm, but it's not enough of a weight that you're out there sweating in the greenhouse. They're very comfortable to wear. You can dress them up, dress them down. Um, we've got Taryn in leggings and boots, so she can wear that to church pretty easily. Um, and then we have Jody and Haley in some jeggings or skinny jeans, whatever you want to call them, with their boot socks. And then you have me where I'm just wearing my jeans and my little heels. So I can wear this out on a Saturday night, or I can just wear it to work like I am now. And then I also have my little cowgirl boots back in the back that I'll change into to kind of dress it down a little bit. So the girls have accessorized all these sweaters with some fun little bracelets. Joni's bracelet is a personal favorite of mine. Um, it's a little dingle cross. It's kind of, if anybody was here at the last workshop, it's kind of like the bracelet that Annette had, except it doesn't have the Bible verse on it. But it's a very pretty, and then she also has inspirational Bible verses um, on her other um, wrist. And then she has, of course, a stretchy butterfly ring that matches her butterfly necklace. And we have that butterfly necklace also in the flower necklace and stretchy ring also. Miss Taryn has on one of our popular scarves. We, or she has on, you know, the bracelets and the rings too. But the popular scarf, I had her in purple, you know, K-State, there's a lot of K-State lovers here. Um, but then we looked at her hair and realized that, you know, she's a freshman in college, so she had to do something a little wild, so she dyed it blue. So my mom was like, can we not put her in a blue scarf then? So that scarf, we have it in blue, we have it in purple, burgundy, orange, cream, and it, they're great little scarves. Um, once again, you can dress those up, dress them down. Um, they've got a little bit of glitter. And then Haley there on the end, she just has on a simple little necklace with it. Um, really, these sweaters are fabulous. You don't even have to put anything with them if you don't want to. Um, but the necklaces just dress them up a little bit. This is easily something Haley could wear um, to dress up for on game day. <laughs> I think Shay wants us to be done. <laughs> she can dress up on game day with it or just wear it to church, just like that, if you can feel a bit casual at church. All right, this is our first set, so I think if Mama's ready, oh, she is, we'll get her all mic back up. So thank you, girls. Do you have a scarf for everything? Oh, yeah, we're going to give away Taryn's scarf, so let me. Um, draw for that. Okay. And I, I combine the baskets together so nobody will get left out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I guess we'll break on drawings up to this little bit. Yeah. We'll get started. Somebody unplugged my glue pot, my glue gun, so we might just have you might have been shade on the front row. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few things of how to make your front porch really just look wow for Halloween. This here, I was hoping it would stay out cloudy today because this little guy up here is lit up. Isn't that cute? And then our bottles also light up with the pumpkin, which you can see. But there's just take some batteries, just some double A and triple A batteries. But I'm going to touch base on our pumpkins again. And everything under the roof today, gift shop, um, garden idea or garden items all the way out here to your homes are 20% off under the roof. That's what Ben and Jason and I decided throughout the whole, which is great, it's the whole building to give you guys a discount. So pumpkins are on sale. So if you have a grandchild or a, a child that you would like to get a pumpkin for, then you can paint it. Again, we had Erica and Shay. They made us some witches out of our... And we have hair. Now again, today you can... Um, the, the kids can color a pumpkin for free. We have some hair over there. We have some... Um, eyes, we have stickers. I'm just going to kind of decorate my little my little wagon here and show you how to do that while my glue gun is heating up to this <laughs> So I'm just going to take some of our berry branches and kind of bring it out. This is the coolest one. She painted it green and she made her nose out there for her stem. Is that fun? Then we have a hat. So we have sisters here. This is Shay and Grace. <laughs> so we're just going to put out some little you know, hair. And then we have another one. This is one of our funky pumpkins that she put boo on it with little stickers. And then I'm going to show you, if you have a broom hanging around at home, you can just tie a little ribbon, a little ribbon on it. I'm going to tie my bow down here. And you, then you can go back and use it later on this week. I mean, after Halloween. So I'm going to put my, my broom with my bow on it. Up here with my witches. I'm going to put my hat on that. Isn't that cute? Well, might do that. Might just do it over here. How about if I do it over here with my hat like that? So now they all have their hats on. And if my glue gun is heated up, I'll show you a little trick. But it's not. Yeah, it might be. Okay, this is my trick to a little extra. Does everybody like Halloween? Everybody like Halloween? I don't know if it's quite hot enough yet. You take a couple pieces of styrofoam, and I've cut them in half. You can take little pieces, little bricks of it, and you get your glue gun, and you put your glue, which is not, might not quite be hot up there. we go. And you rub these pieces together, and then you just start making your little cobweb. Isn't that cool? But my glue gun isn't hot enough to do my whole stick, so I'm going to show you little pieces, but you could just keep using this over and over. And then once this dries and it's up there, it just pops right off. So you didn't ruin anything because it's not going to sit so thin that it doesn't stick to anything. Um, too. But that's my little trick over here with my Halloween. But like I said, my hot glue gun isn't quite high enough. I just plugged it in because we did our little speaker over here. But anyway, this is my little Halloween. Um, little ideas that I want to tell everybody about. Um, again, the pumpkins are on a special. The funky gourd. The little straw bales are outside. We have big straw bales. We have little square bales. Last time, when, if some of you were here, you you would have seen it. Um, but I'll tell you that we just did a little bow around a little square bale, like a little, like a little um, package. And we just tied a little bow and put some little flowers on top. And you have a whole little presentation to your front porch that is just beautiful. So it's a really neat way. The little mini straw bales are new to us this year. So all kinds of flavors of pumpkins. I can't 
can't tell you, it's just a lot of fun out there. Anyway, any questions? So I'm going to show you about the corn stalks. I tried to show this at the last uh, workshop, and I didn't get it done. So I've gone out and I picked out a bundle of corn that we sell out front. We sell the corn stalks, we sell the, the bales, we sell pumpkins, of course. And you can make your mailbox pretty, you can make your front porch pretty. And all I'm going to do is take a little bittersweet here and tie it around. I'm going to take two pits that we have. You can use leaves, you can use sunflowers, you can use just about anything. I'm going to go up with one and down with the other, down with one and up with the other. And then I'm just going to tie it off with my bow. Do we have a name? Yes, we do. Okay. Nadine Pollock. Nadine. Oh, very good. And you didn't even have to guess how many of them. That's good. Do you have a car big enough to get this number? Yes. <laughs> That's good. Well, I'm doing this and I'm going to tie it off. I'm going to tell you about our mailbox covers. These are magnetic and they will not blow off. That's a good thing. We can match them up with a, with a little mini flag, a large flag, or the new um, doormats that we carry. So I'm just going to tie this off, and I'm going to tie it on to here. And you kind of got a little added bonus to your mailbox that your neighbors don't have. The nice thing about this is most of the things that we buy in for greenery and for outdoor use, is for outdoor use and indoor use. A lot of the berries will not, um, I mean, they're not going to have a lifetime warranty, but they're going to have a good season that this is not going to blow off. It's not going to change color. The weather in Kansas is a little harder than when, when we go to Atlanta and buy, you know, they say, oh, this is weatherproof, but nobody knows Kansas weatherproof, so I'm not going to guarantee it. But it is, it is a little sturdier and we make sure that we find things that will last. And that just adds to your mailbox and that tells a little bit about, about a mum. Does anybody have any questions about a mum and how to plant it and all the goodies about it? Brenda can answer all your questions. <laughs> On the mum, um, you, you keep cutting it back up until July? Up until July 4th. Until After July. July 4th, you just want to kind of hold back. Is that, is that how you want to tell right. them? Right. When you cut that back, it's going to promote new growth. Yeah, that is the problem. Yeah. I mean, you can do it really anywhere within a week. It's not right at the door, but just yeah, right around that date. Yeah. We'll time those blooms to be ready in the end of August or September. Yeah. Do you cut it back immediately after you plant it outside? Do you cut it back immediately after you plant it outside? Like right now when you plant it? No. Oh, no. So if you let that and then. I leave all that on there. The protection. Yeah. It's got its own mulch. Yeah. If you don't They're kind of ugly, but. Just cut it anywhere. It doesn't matter where on the stem. How high do you think you should cut no, it? No, not, not that. Not. Like where on the stem does it matter? Where on the stem? I actually just take the pruning shears too long. Okay. Mm -hmm. just That's what I do at home, too. Across, but. I have so many that I just use the pruning shears and mm -hmm. just the same height. Yep. Good question. And then how many mums are over there? Is it 30,000 or 50,000 that you plant? Right, 50. I, I got it. I had my little note here. It must be poinsettias are 30,000. 38,000. Okay. That's good. Everybody ready for Christmas? <laughs> we've been, I think we. I think they planted those the same time. They were planting poinsettias the same time I was cutting wheat. So our family was cutting wheat and they were planting poinsettias. So we were all doing a harvest and a crop. So any other questions? Yeah, I'll turn it over to the gals and they're going to give away something else too. Should we give away something? Going to give away something, I bet. Okay, now that everybody has signed up, we're going to give away the scarf. So we'll take these gals on out here, I guess. Yeah. The blues 
scarf that matched Taryn's hair. Did everybody see that? She did that last weekend. <laughs> we have Diane Timich. Oh, oh, in the front row. row. See? Paid off is in the front row. See? <laughs> <laughs> you did well pronouncing your last name. Timish? Yeah. I know a Timish. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do our last set. We're going to bring Haley out first. Haley's wearing a blue, <laughs> yeah, a blue little layered shirt that's real flowy. Um, one of our register gals, Chris, is wearing the same shirt. Um, so once again, you know, you've got the different ages that can pull it off. Um, Haley is also wearing um, our necklace, a little flowery necklace that's long. We also have that necklace in a shorter if you don't like long. Um, some of them come with matching earrings, some of them don't, so you can mix and match that. And then Haley also has on our crossbody Simply Noel handbag that's got two or three different compartments. You've got three different zippers on the front and back and then the one in the middle. And then there's different compartments down inside there. We have that in five different colors. Um, all their purses come in this tan color, a chocolate brown, an orange, a rust, and then an olive green color. Um, so we have different handbags. We have two or three different crossbody styles. Um, we just got in a business bag type style that has a little place that you can put some file holders down inside of it, and then a couple other bigger ones. Um, Haley is also wearing our newest boot sock, and these are called the cruise socks. So. Um, the boots that Haley are wearing are called combat boots, right? Combat, combat, yeah. yeah, combat boots. And then these cruise socks are, they're not as long as the regular boot socks. Because the regular boot socks, if anybody's bought many, they're just really long, so you can really layer them and play with them. And then these are really short for just like little boots like this. Or for like toddlers, you could probably put them with a toddler for regular boots. They're so you have, two, yeah, one. all the boot socks are buy two, get one free, mix and match, different styles, colors. Um, I think we're up to 15 different styles of boot socks. Um, and if you don't see the color that you want out on the floor, ask. We have a ton still back in the back that can come out. Um, are you wearing, oh, Haley's shirt comes in four, three different colors. We have this light blue, a pink, and then a darker blue. And it goes from small, medium, large, extra large, clear up to a double X. Anything else that you want? Oh, yes, her cross bracelet. She's got on a cute, simple little cross bracelet um, that clasps in the back. Those are very pretty. Those are brand new. Just got those in this week. All right, thank you, Miss Haley. Next, we'll bring out Miss Taryn. Taryn's wearing one of our new styles. This is a button up little cute little flowy little shirt that you can put with leggings or jeggings. We have it in this khaki color, we have it in a denim color, and we have it in a black color. Um, and these um, sizing, we have small, medium, large, extra large, clear up to the double X also. And Taryn, we put on a cute little cross, brand new necklace. Um, it's a necklace and earrings set. She's got in the matching earrings with it also. Just to give it some length. You wouldn't necessarily have to put length on this. If you don't want to, you could do something real short. Um, and this is one of those outfits, again, you can dress, you can get more than one outfit out of this. You can put jeggings with it, like I said, and, you know, wear it out, you know, out on the town and then put the leggings, the black leggings with it and wear it to church, wear it to work, um, just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Taryn's also wearing um, a bracelet from here, just bringing out that black and cream colors together. Pearls are also in right now, too. Everything is pearls. They love pearls. I love pearls, so that's great. Um, and then the boot socks, she's got on the button boot socks, too. Um, once again, we have those those buttons in four or five different colors, four or five different styles. Boot socks and skin are buy to get one free. Is there anything on here that I'm missing talking about? Oh, her, her big diamond. How can we forget the diamond stretchy little ring? <laughs> so, all right. Thank you, Miss Taryn. And our last model, Miss Joni. Joni's wearing our um, our little fun little flowy shirt. This also comes in four different colors. Four different. Sorry, I rock my brain here. Four different colors. We have black, pink, green, and blue. And these are also sized. Um, we have one extra small, which is the black, and then you clear up to small, medium, large, extra large, and the double XL. Um, Joni's wearing the same scarf that Taryn was wearing earlier, just a different color. In it, this is the dark color, which really brings out the pink. You know, and she's got on the gold necklace that Haley was wearing with the sweater. 
She has on a gold cross bracelet. Those are very popular. And then also, what is your bracelet? It's an inspirational bracelet, and it says, even the softest prayer is heard. So once again, that'd be a good gift item, too, if you're looking for just something for a granddaughter, a daughter, daughter-in-law, anybody. And then, the, yeah, we'll turn around, show off that back. These are fun little mesh backs, and then the buttons on the sleeves just really accessorize it. Um, Joni is carrying our bigger purse. Um, this isn't the biggest purse that we have, but it is the next size bigger from the crossbodies. It's got the shoulder strap, or you can put on a longer strap if you want. It has three compartments in the middle. The zippers along the side are just detailed, just fun little details. It's our very cute bag. These are the bags that, uh, as we were rolling them up from the back, we had about four girls shopping off of the cart as we were rolling it up. And some of them didn't make it to the front, but we reordered. And there's one of every color out on the floor. Joni's wearing a different style of boot sock. This is kind of the crochet top with the buttons. Um, and we also have these where um, it's a different color on bottom than the top. So like you can get blue on the bottom and the cream on the top. Um, is there anything else on you, Joni, that I'm missing? I don't think so. Well, let's give these models a hand. Thank you for helping us out. This is the last segment, so if we're boring you, you can run as soon as we get done here. Or you can run now. I'll let you out. But I, I, this is my favorite, so I saved the best for last. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have, a lot, some of you out in the audience know me from previous years, and I was a florist, owned a flower shop, and that was the biggest question is, show sometime in your workshop how to do a dozen fresh flower roses. So I ordered in roses for you guys that have asked me. Um, I'm going to show you how to use these little lights that we have. Years in the past, we've had these. These are the battery-operated lights. They have the timer. They're the six hours on, 18 hours off. You can use them in, I'm going to show you how to use them in water, out of water. You can put them around your pumpkins. Last year I showed you how you could put it in your pumpkin and let it glow. And they have the timer so when you are on your front porch or if, you're, if you have your wreath and you have lights around your wreath, every night you come home from work or you're home for the evening, at 6 o'clock it comes on and it stays on till midnight and you don't ever have to go off and shut it off or unplug it because it has the timer built into it. So that's the nice thing about these lights. And I'm going to show you how you can do it do them in water. I'm going to do these pumpkins. I thought about doing apples or pumpkins, but pumpkins is quite popular right now because they are in season, of course. So I'm going to twist my lights around. This is longer than I thought. And I'm going to put them down in my vase. So if you were having a dinner party or you just had a, a bunco party or a card party and you had a little uh, table with some food on it, if you wanted to dress up, this is the way to do it. Lay my pumpkins in. Lay my lights in there. Layer my pumpkins in there. <laughs> Put my pumpkin on top. This one has the timer on it. I'm going to do two vases like this and one with fresh flowers. So if you were having a dinner party, you know, it would be prettier because it would be at dark and nighttime. The other thing that you could do, you could put a floating candle on the top there. I'm just going to put the pumpkins in here without the lights. Lay my pumpkins in there. Have some water. Oh, I told you not to sit in the front row. <laughs> I've already put water in my vase for my uh, fresh flowers, so my lights are liable to float, but I'm going to show you anyway. And see, when you're done with your dinner party, your lights will go off because they have that timer, so you'd be good to go. You just want to hide your battery pack, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that here on my table. Okay, so if you had your battery pack down here, and you're hiding your little wires. Since my glue gun didn't start up very good, I brought some little stick them here. 
So, of course, I've got the wheat. So I'm going to bundle it up like a bundle of wheat. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. And I'm going to tie it off with a chenille stem. And then I'm going to tie it with some raffia. Because I really don't want to mix and match my... You could, you could do a plaid ribbon or a plaid bow or fall colors. But you kind of get into competition of your rose colors, your sunflower color that I'm going to show you here. And I'm just going to take some raffia and tie it into a bow. And this doesn't have to be a, but a fancy bow. It can just be a little shoe tie bow if you want to cover your green chenille stem. Tie off your... You can leave your little streamers if you want so it can come down your buffet table. I've got enough things on my table. And then I'm going to use my little stick. I'm usually I'd have my hot glue gun out here, but I'll use my little sticky. And I had a sunflower on one of my garlands that fell off, so I'm going to stick it. And I'm just going to glue it right there on top. And then I'm going to hide my battery pack. That's my little trick. And I'm going to hide this over here just to kind of make it flow together. Because I want to get rid of this. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put a dozen roses together down in our vase of flowers with our lights. So those of you that have not asked me how to do this, I hope you're not bored with it, but it'll be a trick of a trade that you wanted to learn. If you were here earlier, I was dethorning it and taking all of my leaves off. So you start with your middle one. Okay, we'll just start over. Your husband brought you a dozen roses. Oh, aren't those pretty? They can either go in a vase, or now you're gonna know how to do it. <laughs> so, he brought you two colors. You go on the other side of the head of the flower. And this is gonna be like a hand tie. It's not gonna be tall and fancy. So your stems are always gonna be facing outward. Just go to the right of that one. I'm right-handed. Go to the right. Your stems are going out. Go to the right. Keep turning it. Go to the right. Lay it in there to the next one. Turn it. So you're going to the right. Your stems are always going out like that. So your roses to the right. Turn it. To the right of that one. Now it's not, it's not too, I'll keep going. So you keep going to the right. He goes, it's not so tight that you can't pull these up and get you a nice little round. So there you either have a wedding bouquet, if you want to get into the wedding business and tie you off a piece of, uh, tie the knot and get married with some roses. Or, and then this I have the seeded you. You can, you can go out and get your evergreens out of your, I've, I've done that. Or your, um, see, this is seeded you. You can get your different kind of bushes that you have outside. Same thing, you keep turning to the right. Leave your stems down. Turn it, and you just lay it at the bottom so you're not competing with those roses. So you have something that's going to hang over this vase. This is solidago. Some people call it ditchweed. This is painted. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. I'm going to turn it to the bottom, to the right. I'm going to leave this. This one I'm going to cheat on, but you want to keep your stems out. Do a little bit of yellow if you'd like. Just go around the bottom of it. And you're not tied off yet, so you can go back in here, you can pull this one up so that it, so it doesn't get lost. And you have yourself a dozen roses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a chenille stem. I'm going to tie it at the top like this. And then you want to measure your vase height that you're doing because you want it to be right at the rim of your vase. So some of these are longer, so that's going to be that I need to cut them shorter here. Cut that one. Cut them all the same height, and then in about two days, you want to cut them again. It's like out here, we sell Gerber daisy plants. Take your Gerber daisies off, put them in your vase in the house, and enjoy them, not just outside, because that's a real pretty flower to put in a vase. Your roses, you can do the same thing. Of course, they're not going to be this long as stemmed. I'm going to put it down in there. I'm going to put it here. And you have a dozen roses with some pumpkins and you're ready for your buffet. These here, we sell, a lot of people love these because you can just go out and purchase one flower, I mean, cut one flower and you just put it in a little vase that has a little chicken wire around it. And I've just put the little sunflowers with the stems. So I'll hide my battery pack <coughs> lights. And there you have 
my punch was up here, I'd have a whole buffet table full of things. Can you turn the lights on in the rows? Yes, glad you said that. There it is. I loved it when it was cloudy this morning because you could really see all everything glowing and lighted up. Anyway, I bet you can all go home now when your husband brings you a dozen roses on a Saturday night and you can just make <laughs> them real pretty now. I bet Ben will be stealing these to take home with, to Marlene because she hasn't been feeling well, so he'll probably get these to take home to her. So anyway, any questions? Is there any tip for the water, I mean, with the light? The, I mean, it doesn't, it hurt, doesn't the hurt the flowers at all? It doesn't no, hurt.